you're about to see a 3D visualization of the River Arran. The River Arran that's now eight miles offshore of the southern coast of the UK and 20 meters beneath the English Channel. As the camera zooms in to the River Channel, you can see the salt marsh and the forest in the background. And now we're flying over the forest. And this is a forest of older hazel and oak, all of which we've got evidence for from pollen records locked up in the sediments. And as we pass over the forest, we then dip down into this salt marsh area. This is an estuarine area affected by the salty, the salty water of the sea. And you can see now the river running through, running through this area. And now as we sort of zoom in to a small part of this river, we can actually see a family group undertaking the daily tasks that would have been going on at this time. We have a woman admiring the scene with baskets of fish and shellfish, and children playing on the banks, maybe gathering shellfish, and birds flying across the sky. As we look around, we can also see a boat with two people in the boat fishing. As we see these, these two people in the boat, they look as though they're just about to fall in, they're actually fishing, and if you look closely, you can actually see a fishing net. And we know that there's people who were using boats at this time. And looking at the children now on the scene on the banks of the river, we can see marram grass. And also a bird flying off, and also enjoying the products of the water. And here, we have a child playing, and you can see the plants, all these plants we have evidence for, again, locked up in the sediments. As we zoom round, you can see the forest in the background. And here we are at the edge of the forest, with a, maybe a son and a father hunting. The father showing his son, really, the critical skills that you need to survive in this environment. We know that deer existed at this time. We have a deer and her, and her uh, a young there looking around, maybe sensing danger in the offing. As we pan round now, we can see a jackdaw flying through the sky. And these would have been typical sort of hunting groups. Here we have two people with a small encampment by the side of the forest. We have a fire blazing. The man sitting down there is napping flint. And the man standing up is preparing a spear, ready for the afternoon's hunting with their dock. And they, they've already had some success. You can see a duck tied to his, his belt there. And as we come round, there would have been an abrupt start and stop between the forest and the salt marsh because of the salty water, which would have prevented tree growth. We can see that we have a pine tree, and that's a crow we can see there, sitting in the tree. And as we pan back, an oak tree comes into view. Very similar tree to the type of trees we've got in the countryside today. As we're coming through here, we can see blackberries and a pig foraging in the forest clearings with dead wood and other sort of fern-type plants. And here we are just zooming, zooming down, getting a better impression of this clearing and this, uh, this wild pig feeding sedately. Maybe not aware of the, uh, the hunters preparing their afternoon's activity.